Hi Aries, it's Sun Shadow Tarot here and we're going to do something a little bit uh, different today from the shorts. We're going to do a longer video and we're going to talk about love, particularly one aspect of love uh, that may be concerning you. It's why love has eluded you and these situations are never static. They always change. So we revisit them from time to time. A lot of the forecasts just kind of do general love forecasts and that, that really doesn't focus on a particular question that may be on your mind. So I want to know how you're doing today. I want to know if you've been watching the shorts and if you've enjoyed them. I really like doing them. Uh, I think uh, the short form is, is great. If you don't have a lot of time for a video, uh, for a, a daily forecast, if you're at work or if you're on the go. And uh, now we can dive a little deeper into the things that are on your mind. Um, if you uh, are liking these videos, please leave me a comment. I greatly appreciate that because I don't get a lot of feedback on the shorts. I think it's because people are looking at them so quickly. But now that, you know, we have a little time together, we can uh, explore things. So, as they say in the tarot business, in the fortune telling business. Let's see what Madame Ruby sees. Okay, so here we open up with the card. The Emperor. Very interesting. The Emperor is your card as an Aries. So we can pretty much safely say that's that's you. And the death card. Now the death card crosses you right now. And I, I want to be very clear about something. Uh, people are often very afraid of the death card, you know, uh, from movies and all kinds of books and everything and literature. And the death card can mean death, but it also can mean a great change. And I think that's really where what you see in most tarot readings is that you see this as some kind of transformation, some uh, shift from one situation to the other. And it's usually a large shift. And it could be anything uh, because it's all contextual. You know. You do see a lot of tarot readers. I must warn you straight off the bat. You see a lot of tarot readers who are just reciting cards and they're not really reading cards in context. And you should be aware of them. If somebody just shows you a card and just knocks off a, a meaning and then goes to the next card and knocks off and, and just, you know, throws out another meaning and throws out another meaning, but they don't read these cards in context. They're not really giving you a reading. They're giving you a recitation and it's a big difference. Okay. All right. So we see that some kind of change is, is crossing you. So let's explore what that change might be. Okay. This is the uh, six of wands. It's a very good card. It's, it's often a card of fame and celebrity and uh, getting accolades for the types of things that you have done. In the past here, you see the Seven of Cups. Now that could be the idea that perhaps you had delusions of grandeur about something or maybe just an idea that things were going to be much rosier than they really were or really turned out to be. And that also could be obstacles, but let's go forward. 
know, the star is right at the bottom here. And that usually is the present. And that's generally a pretty good card. Again, it goes with the accolades. So people are noticing you. You're getting some kind of recognition. You're getting some kind of feedback, generally positive, for what you are doing or what you're going through. So that seems to be stable. You're stable with yourself. Uh, maybe a little bit of not thinking clearly in the past, but seems to be, it seems to be bright, it seems to be a star, you know, a north star in the sky. Um, lots of abundance uh, because the, you know, pouring out water, water is very abundant, it's flowing, the star is light, energy. There's a lot going on there. Let's continue. In future, Page of Cups. Again, more abundance, water, flowing energy, and things being offered to you by either young people, lively people, people with a lot of creative energy. So let's continue. We're still going to read more into this. Again, more cups. This is what's going on now. So things are happening. Things, things are very positive right now. There could be a lot of celebrations around you. A lot of uh, awards. A lot of recognition for things that you may be involved with. Perhaps uh, at work, maybe you're getting some kind of recognition as a team or a group of friends that are getting along pretty well right now. Now, <clears throat> environmentally, you may be picking up the pieces. And when it comes to love, that sort of makes me think about what's going on here. So things may be on the surface seeming okay, but inside, you may be having ideas that you really have to make amends for things you have done in the past or make different decisions about how you reacted to things in the past because you can't manifest love if you're reacting badly because it is, a, you know, with the law of attraction in particular, you have to be on the vibration for the love you want. You could be looking at somebody who is a very wonderful person and there could be every reason in the world for you to be with that person. But if you're not on the same vibration, if you're not in the same wavelength, then it's just not going to gel. You've seen it so many times, I'm sure. People that should be perfect for each other just can't get it together. And sometimes it's just for stupid reasons. So you may be thinking about how to make that better in the future. Again, emotionally, more reflection, more about these past situations about how I can do a little bit better than I did in the past, what went wrong, how to change things. But it seems also, when you look at the page of cups here, this is the future. This is what could be. So all this reflection could pay off. It probably will pay off. Let's go further. And here we have the Hierophant. Font is an interesting card because it reflects authority. It reflects the way things are supposed to be. You know, when you think of, say, you know, the clergy or whatever it is, the way things are supposed to be, the way we've always done it. That's really what the Hierophant is. But it's also 
secret knowledge. There's also a lot of mysterious knowledge in that. So you may be balancing. This may be one of the big changes that you're going to make in your love life is that you're balancing how you reacted to things in the past. Did you do the right thing? Could I have said it better? Could I have reacted better? I mean, we all go through this. Well, actually, some of us don't go through it, and that's the problem. Um, but you're taking a good long time right now to reflect, and I think that is very beneficial. So I would say, if we look at this a little bit further, strength... Yeah, being overburdened. And the high priestess. So I would say that, again, y you are overburdened by your thoughts of the past and how you have reacted. But this gives you strength. All this reflection gives you strength. And what you need to do is match the inside with the outside because the outside you know when people look at you they're like oh everything is cool everything is great uh, they look happy but inside you may have very different thoughts and it looks like you've been kind of keeping it to yourself so you may have to open up a little bit about that it's possible i think you do have a a well of strength to tap into even though you may feel overburdened there's also this high priestess here which is you know it's it's kind of a mystery fate looking down on you protecting you giving you the information so you're you're, you're getting the information about yourself, from yourself, but also energy from outside coming into you, flowing through you, and helping you along with this transformation. This is definitely a transformational card. This, When I look at all this together, it looks like you're going undergoing a serious transformation that may take a little time. And I think you need to be very patient with yourself. I need think you need to cut yourself some slack and and really be settled with your own thoughts and be just be patient with your own thoughts and make peace with your own thoughts and make peace with your past. Because that's the only way you can go forward. Let's take a little look at some other things here. Here this card Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So when we talk about what's eluding you, again, it's, it's optimism. So can't get down on yourself too much, even though you're going through all of this psychological reflection. And let's take a look here. Patience. Again, see how these cards all kind of flow together? It's, this is no accident that this happens. Um, I did shuffle these cards, and it's just the energy that flows together. Everything all aligns with each other. I have some other things here. They love you in their own way. So we're talking about love. This deck of cards here that I constructed myself has many, many different uh, subjects. And love came up here. So the energy here is definitely about love. It's very good. And I would say that when you meet somebody, you have to allow them to love you in their own way. Sometimes Aries can be very, I don't want to say, I don't want to say controlling, but you do like, you do like things your way a lot of times. And sometimes you just have to maybe put yourself in somebody else's shoes because they may love you a lot and they may 
not be perfect about how they express their love to you and sometimes Aries don't have a lot of patience for that again patience may be an issue with your transformation here and that's probably what you have to concentrate on the most so if you want to do some more cards we can do some more cards maybe sanctuary so again place for reflection a place to get your head together is really really important I think love can be yours but you really have to just take your time and this card here a beautiful card release so you have to release the past stop letting it haunt you go on with the future look ahead because it is bright so you have to stay optimistic about your love life and I think that that is a sensational future for you you just have to concentrate on it give yourself some space give yourself some time and I think that all your reflection and patience about yourself will pay off you have to be right with yourself before you can attract other people be right with other people meet them at the level that you want to meet them you know appearance is one thing as we see here appearance that's one thing but you have to be okay with your inner self your, your inner vibrations have to be aligned and otherwise you know you're just you're just going to appear to be off and that's the one thing that you want to uh you want to fix so i think that this is a, a very very good thing let's let's look at this a little bit more pay attention to the red flags okay the signs are cautioning you so i think this is again the signs in yourself you have to be in alignment with your own energy you have to be sensitive when you're meeting other people are they really aligning with you are they lining up with you at this particular time even though they may look great sound great whatever it is and sometimes we do this i've done this in the past for sure i've you know fallen for people that look great sound great but they're absolutely not right for me and i'm not right for them but somehow you know it, you just dive in you really have to be energy sensitive to things like that especially as you go on in life because time is very precious and you don't want to waste your time or waste somebody else's time in a relationship that just really shouldn't be from the get-go you know you could be friends you could hang out with somebody you don't have to necessarily get super super involved with them especially if they're the wrong person at the wrong time and chemistry a strong magnetic attraction that's what you're looking for you're looking for the right energy you know not just not just hoping that the energy is there not just trying to convince yourself that the energy is there but that the actual energy aligning with the person that you love is there and that you're getting as much as you're giving you know sometimes Aries can give and give and give and not get anything back and because you know cardinal sign you're very very you, you want to give of yourself and and there's just so much there Aries about you I know I've seen it it's it's just you just pour it all out sometimes when you get into something and uh you just have to make sure that that balance is there so you're not coming away from it feeling neglected or abused or whatever it is uh, so stay optimistic pay attention to the red flags when they show up make sure the chemistry is there be patient with yourself 
give yourself some sanctuary and release from all the bad negativity that was in the past. And make sure you understand that when you love somebody, let them love you in their own way. I hope this helped you today and helped uh, with your question about why love may be eluding you. You're doing a great job. You're doing a lot of reflection, a lot of self-work, and that certainly will pay off. Aries, I loved this time with you. Please like, subscribe, comment, and I hope that you will look at my daily shorts uh, where I give you daily readings, and I'm going to give more long-form readings in the future. Thank you and have a fantastic day and your love life will definitely improve.